Hey guys, Galaxy here, just doing a quick video on corporation management, what it all means, how it all works, uh, and so on. So if you do find yourself enjoying this video and you do find that the uh, video was helpful, please make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification uh, bell that's on the screen now. It would really help. Now, let's get into this. So as you can see here, you have two corporations, two tabs. So you have this one. If you want to come to those, you go to social, down to corporation, and you'll find it all here. This is all the information you need to know, realistically, when it comes to corporation management. Now, basic details in here, you have your tax rate, you have member count, all that sort of stuff in here. Shares, you can create more shares if you want to. Uh, if you want to do some things, anything like edit details, tax rates, so on and so forth. Description, you can do it all there. From edit details down there, prepare to quit corp, you don't really want to be doing that. Um, kill reports, I suppose if you're a PvP corp, that's where you can find where any of your corp members have been killed or you have, your corp members have killed people. So as you can see there, you can show kills, show losses, so yeah, that happens. Bulletins, so if you put one out there, that's what happens, so as you said, you can uh, put details about the corp and so if someone comes here, they can see it. Um, offices, yep, you can check where your offices are and also if you do have offices, Automatically paid, sorry, receivable. That's when someone rents an office from your uh, from a structure that you own. Uh, automatically paid is if you're paying an office for an office somewhere. You will see it there. Now recruitment. So you've got search corporations. You can change for filters what you're looking for. So you've got all these selections down here to see what you what you're looking for. People put ad corp adverts up uh, to try and attract some people to come join them. Uh, some role play out there, new power friendly. Um, you got some things like mining, research, trade, and all these sorts of PvP things. PvE as well. You can change that area of operations. You can change if you want to live in wormhold zero zero, which is no null sec and low security system. Languages. You can change what what languages. If you speak a different language other than English, then you can find uh, what corporations speak these languages as well. Playtime, so you can even change what your time zone is to what corp suits you best. Size of corporation. Again, if you want to join a small corp, you'd go down to, say, 10 people or 50 people maximum if you want to be in a smallish corp. Or if you want to go in one of the big ones, up to 12,600. 12, exclude friendly fire corporations. So you can exclude corporations that have got friendly fire made illegal, which again is in details here. So you can change that to legal or illegal. So if if you have that illegal, if you shoot another court member, you will get concorded. If you have that legal, they can do what you want to you. Yeah. I'd probably stay clear of corporations that have that on, unless they specifically say why they have it on and if they have it on for competitions and so on and so forth. Uh, structure transfers, unrestricted or corporation mail. So you can change that to communications officers only, unrestricted. So anyone can send corporation mails out. Exclude corporations and alliances, so if you don't want to be in an alliance, you want to be in a, in a corp, you can just in a corporation, you can do that there. Exclude if current skill points do not meet requirements. So some corporations do require a certain amount of skill points for pilots to join them, so it's not just a random new bro. If they want PvPers, they'll set a say, right, we want 50 million skill points, for example. And the game will pick up how many you've got versus how many of these, if they've put a restriction in. Corporation ads, you can create an advert like this. So quite, quite again, you can put a title, message, so you can put your your recruitment speech on there. Put all your time zones and stuff like that, duration, how long you want the want it to go. The more, the longer you put it on, twenty eight days. Uh, for example, like that, minimum skill points requirement. Um, yeah, and then you can put uh, recruiters in there. So who to contact if uh, you want to get in touch or whatever. My applications. That's where you, uh, where you, if you've applied to a corp, you'll see it here. Applications to corporation. So if I've, if someone wants to join my corp, I will uh, see the names coming down here. Members, pretty self-explanatory. You can change certain roles in here, like uh, role, role at HQ, role at base, role at other. 
these this is all this starts going into real technical stuff so certain ones is hq is like your headquarters system so your station that you've got an office in or a, a citadel that's your hq you, you'll have certain roles in there role at base is more of like a, a, a player own structure like a control tower other is structures in space so you jump bridges and cans and stuff like that um, role management you can change who has what roles as well auto removal corporation members that are scheduled for automatic removal so you can also we'll get into uh, votes and stuff on a minute title management so you can give people certain titles and roles and those titles will have certain roles and so on um, it's a good way of managing so if you put say that one Communications officer, you don't want them to configure that contract manager. You want to be able to uh, accept, uh, make contracts with corporation, diplomat, junior accountant, personal. Yeah, so this is just general. Then you've got all these other ones as well. So if I'd, I'd suggest instead of me going through it because it will take a long time to go through every single role and everything, I'd suggest go and have a look through and have a play play around because like station service, so you've got rent office and. You've got all the wallet divisions, accounting, and yeah. I'd have a playthrough uh, and see what you think of those and get your head around it. It's not too hard to understand what's what. Um, it just saves a lot of time explaining it in a video. Auditing. Uh, I don't want to really do any, make any changes here. So this, unless you're in a, uh, like a role play corp, I wouldn't really worry about auditing. Decorations, this is where you can make uh, medals and stuff like that for your corp. So you can do stuff like this and have that and all that sort of good stuff on here if you want you can make it look really pretty and you can pay I can't remember how much it is to set it up I think it's a few million to, to make one and then dish it out to people standings again this is if you want to have excellent standings with or bad standings or if you want to set if someone is a bit of a dick to your corp or a, a corp is a bit of uh, annoying to you or keeps attacking well not attacking you but keeps griefing you in any way you can set them to terrible standings and they will flag up in local chat uh, with a, a red icon next to them so you know they're in system. NPC standings, so this if you this goes on the average amount per the average standings of your corp members for each one of these. So if I had for myself example example, one point two standings with Caldari State, it'll say one point two there. But with Mimitar, not so good, and that works on the NPC standings. Works it works on average for the corporation, so everyone's standings together averaged out. That's what you get for there. Wars again, so it's all these information on here. I'm not going to read it for you, uh, read it out to you, but there's a lot of different change. There's a lot of changes that come to the wars over the last few years. Um, a, a corporation can only be declared war on. If they have a, uh, a structure in space, be it um, a, a player owned customs office, uh, which is around planets for PI, or uh, like an Athenor for moon drills, or any form of citadel, they can be they can then become eligible for wars. So no wars, all wars. These are all wars that are outstanding at the minute that are going on at the minute. War history. We haven't had any wars. Mutual war invites. No. So that's where if you want to, if two. Uh, corporations or alliances want to go to war just for a bit of PvP content they can have a mutual agreement there politics now votes so you can propose a vote create shares expel member a general vote which you'll then put a description in lock a blueprint down in a, a station so not the entire corp can't use it or unlock it so anyone can take it and use it so if you want to do one for creating shares you go next number of shares so you can then put say 50,000 shares in we go to next description number of days how long the vote lasts so if you want to do it over a, like say five days to make sure everyone gets a chance to vote description you put it in there I'll just type that in there so then what you do is that would come up in the court everyone in the court will get a mail about the votes and they would have to come here cast their vote and if it goes in favor you will get the new uh, shares sanctionable actions in effect so you can create sanctionable actions through, I think it's through wars or not wars. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I haven't used any of that before. Assets, so this will tell you where assets are, where you've got deliveries, like people have been selling your stuff, 
stuff on lockdown, asset safety. So deliveries, this is where people sell stuff where you where you've gone and put buy orders up. So I've gone and put some buy orders up for the corporation for this. Uh, people sell it to you and it'll show you here where it is. Uh, and alliances. So yeah, we're not an alliance, so there you go. Now let's come away from that page. We've pretty much just blasted through that. Now corporation wallet here. So you'll have shares. So the corporation only has a thousand shares. If, for example, I wanted to give a th split a thousand shares to give dividends to, say, five people. No, four people. We'll call it an easy number. Four people. If you had four people in the corp, equal uh, amounts. Or what you'd do is you'd give these, uh, give these, say, number of shares to. So you'd go two hundred and fifty shares to whoever you want in the corp, you dish them out between, say, four people, 250 each makes 1,000. Now, what would happen then is every time you do corp dividends, the corp wallet will get split four ways and it will go to those people. If someone has more shares than the other person, they will get slightly more of the dividend. It depends on how many shares you own as a person uh, as, as opposed to everyone as opposed to everyone else uh, so if you want to make it even then you split it you divide it by however many people there are and you give each person that many if you give your, leave your corporation with any shares um, the corporation will get uh, a share of the dividend as well so if you're wanting to completely split the entire corp wallet which you can change active wallet divisions so master wallet which is normally right there active master wallet so if I was to do uh, this is your different wallet division as well so you can have different divisions for say if you want to have a division for buying blueprints a division for dividends a division for market orders so on and so forth you can have them all split up there as I'm not doing any of those I've just got the master wallet that I use so back going back to shares it'll say here who the shareholders are and there you go that's, and it'll have a list of names if you've done it that way. So if you want to do um, dish out some dividends. Right, so I w uh, worked it out. I was on the wrong character. I was wondering because normally there's a button button down here for dividends. I was on the wrong character. You have to be the CEO to be able to do uh, uh, dividends. So you can either pay uh, the dividend to shareholders or members. If I wanted to say 50, 50 million will go out to all members, you can do it that way instead of having the shares. So ignore what I was saying about the shares. If you want to do it through shareholders, you can because some people out of corp can buy shares in your corp, um, but you can sell them for a good price and make a lot of money. And all the, what you do then is you do shareholders dividends, um, which would go to all shareholders which can be either in corp or out of corp. But if you're wanting to keep dividends to corp members, so if you've got like 10% tax rate, for example, um, and at the end of each month, you would reward everyone for doing what they've done and saying, right, here's some money, you can go to uh, members. So you get 50 million to split between members, like so, like that. That goes to every single member, as it says here. You may have, uh, may have credited your account as part of the total payout of 50 million to their corporation members. The amount awarded is split evenly between all members of the corporation. So if you've got 5, 10 people and you want to sp split X amount of money, the game will automatically split it down for you. So you don't need to worry about... Uh, you don't need to worry about actually uh, doing shares. But if you're wanting to build the corporation a bit more public you can sell the shares for however much you you seem fit you deem fit uh, and then each month you can pay dividends out of that to people not in the corp but if they're investing money in the corp for example if they're saying right we'll give you 10 billion isk for 20 percent uh, stake in the, in the corp every month you pay 20 percent out to that person for lending you that money 
So it's a way of doing it that way. There's, there is all very, very in-depth with the dividends. You can go as deep as uh, deep and as intricate as you want. But I hope that clears up uh, a few things about the corporation interface um, roles. We've also what, what else have we covered? So we covered roles, the corporation interface, which again you can find on social. And you'll find all the details, bulletins and whatnot, recruitment, we've gone over that, how to make corporate ads, members to assign roles, standings, wars, politics, assets and alliances. Assets is corporation owned assets, so like an, um, a corporation office for example uh, and so on and so forth. But I hope you find this video, uh, uh, well maybe not entertaining, but informative to say that. Yeah we'll go with informative, I hope you found it informative. Uh, if you have, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the channel. and uh, It's an easy way to support the channel as well. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next EVE Online tutorial. Take care.